the card. Hello? Can you guys hear me? Is everything all right there? Let's, let's, uh, let's check in on the sound here. I'm gonna need some yum yums. Ooh. My Slack is loud. So I'm here with the game. Quiet me. Let's turn the game down. Which one's the game? Slider, this one. Okay, I see. I'm gonna need to bring this guy down to about here. All right. Let me know now how we're doing. Doubling audio, I think I know what that problem is. This is the pre-show. I mean, a lot of dropped frames. Don't love to see that. Do not love that at all. I wonder if it has to do with my internet being not the best. Ugh. Let's hit up old Slack. And see if uh, see what's going on. Audio is no longer doubled. Okay, that should be good. Um, where, where did I put the control? I'm gonna run. The video is green and laggy. I don't know what that means. How's the audio balance? Just so I can eliminate one thing at a time. How am I sounding versus the game audio? is just frozen. I'm too quiet. Somebody said. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll slide up on here. Okay, we fixed one of these problems. Audio is good. Game's a little high. Let's just bump the game down a teensy bit more. Uh, okay. And then... The video is still very choppy. Well, it's a slideshow. 4.5 FPS? Oh my god. It took me... I was having so many problems setting up this stream, and it was finally good. And now it's not. I'm out doing some troubleshooting with uh, our producers. Yeah, you know, there's people working from home here, so we're kinda, kinda shoehorned in. Also, Comcast has been really shitty lately. I heard outages are actually going on all over. Uh, Spectrum has had huge outages across the nation. I can get this figured out. In the meantime, just enjoy the music. We're just hanging out here for now, taking requests. Anyone want to hear a, hear a song? Uh, let's go to the search here while I continue troubles.
there was a let's just scroll up here uh, detailed search I want to search for auto scrolls oh here we go Several people. I like when I put one thing in Slack and I get that several people are typing notification. Hey, Jan. Yeah, pop on in. I'm o <laughs> I'm okay. My internet is not. It's just the game. Sands. All right. Uh, you, do you think I should stop the stream first? Yeah. Yeah. We got top top men on the problem in in. Uh, in slack um and jan's here in my ears oh can th they not hear you they cannot hear jan <laughs> jan come on don't please don't say things like i know they can't hear you but come on <laughs> what a good joke jan okay i'm gonna stop the stream turn it down I do not believe in my internet, Jan. But I do believe in the heart of the cards. Uh, which is what my friend Yu-Gi-Oh told me to do. Does it look better? This is supposed to be an auto run, what the heck? It's a little better? It's a medium better? Any I heard a mmm from Jan. Um, still hit Jan. Yeah, Vinny really says, for those of you who aren't Giant Bomb staff, um, Vinny thinks it is a problem with my internet provider, which I ran a quick speed test and I'm getting doo doo bupkis levels of internet connection right now. Um, thanks, unnamed ISP. What the heck? How am I supposed to get that? Oh, it's like a rocket. Okay, let's check the chat again. Uh, okay. Let's bring the stream down. Oh, well, I can do this thing that Brad wanted me to look. Uh, 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 back there I don't know how to play it but I can figure it out okay Brad's gonna have me make a change stream's gonna go down again bye bye back up here um, is there anything I'm not doing anything on my end okay, no I'm not using any programs really Not inspiring a lot of confidence there. Oh, no, it's a big boy. Oh, yeah, this looks bad. I just loaded it up to see for myself. Is it because of the bitrate? <laughs> J 
Jan, you and I have very different definitions for what's watchable. Well, that's great for Mario. A game that's not required, like, pixel-perfect platforming or anything. Hey, I have 30 coins. So I just don't, so if I, I should try a level without a back background, is what you're saying. Okay. Uh, okay. It's blue. It's, it's blue. Watch what happens. Now I'm a Mario. Hey. I hate chunks. Why don't they just get rid of the chunks? This level's not very fun. You just like, stand and shoot a guy. The, yeah, the tech... The chat, the brain trust has devolved into talking about amps and voltage. I don't think we're cracking this case. Let's see if Vinny wants to tag in. Uh, yeah, and I mean, I can always, I can always tinker with this and take that spot um, later in the afternoon that was just recently filled. Up the amps. Chat said just um, up the amps. Hold on. Uh, I gotta find my car battery. Oh, you want it? I bet that's it. I really do think that that's it. Okay. Yeah. One more time, chat, and this one. It's gonna be a doozy. Tell me if that ball's moving at a normal sp speed. Tell me if it looks good. Chat, please, God. Please, for the love of God. I'm hearing reports in my head that it's better, but not. Not that, like, happy Jan sound that I want to hear. It seems fine. I like it better. About the same. 10 FPS. 11, whoever said F 10 FPS, it's not, it's, that one's your fault. Thank you. Alright. If that's the case... We're gonna we're gonna let this thing rock, and then next time it'll be perfect. This is my first time using the Elgato, and I feel stupid saying the Elgato every time. Even though Elgato is one word, the streaming software, it's still done. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna fade to black. I'm gonna come back up, and we're gonna play some super. Freaking Mario. You can still hear me when it's faded to black, but I'm just pretending that it, you can. <clears throat> 
It's Mario Monday here at Giant Bomb. Any day can be Mario Monday if you try hard enough. Uh, I'm Ben. I'm gonna play some Mario. One of the best guys of all time. That's him right there. In the signature green cap. Okay. Well. Great way to start. Just terrific. Love this. Uh, if, uh, if the stream's a little hitchy, I apologize. We are working on it actively. We have top men on the case. Ah! Mm. Um. <sighs> this is a bad way to start. Okay, I'm just playing, you know, some levels. Uh, I've got a list of levels from friend of the site slash moderator, Ian Kelly, uh, that I'm going to dive into. I haven't played Mario Maker levels in a really long time since the last get on my level, which was, I don't know, like November of last year. So I wanted to warm up with an easy level, which is what I'm doing now. You're not a moder. That's right, you're not a moderator. You, you have the... The blue and the purple colors in the chat look very similar to each other, and I conflate them in my head. That's my bad. Um, Jen, are you still? Oh, Jen's still here. I don't know if they can. I don't think they can hear you. Uh, I don't know how to why my discord audio is not going through we could we should have troubleshooted that one too <laughs> only i'm here and damn <laughs> um okay that's enough of this level let's get to the real ones um i want to do more mario maker content on this website it's been a, it's been a long time uh, they've added some stuff. I think it's we're about due for making a Mario level. Um, I'm just pulling up the level list right now. Gosh, it's been so long that I don't even remember. Yeah, I have to search by ID over here. And all right, got a got some got some effed up S in the can. I've been told this is the most generous of the levels that I've been offered. Um, we're looking at a 1.41 clear rate. So, let's just get into it. I'm My goals here are to beat it and not get mad, and I think I'm gonna be able to accomplish both of those. Z. It made the bad sound. Oh, is this some sort of like tech? I don't know, some sort of jump thing. For as much as I like Mario, I never bothered to learn any of this like, oh, it's a triangle jump. You gotta get the guy and do a thing. And... Did I already mess up? Is that why I heard the I supposed to do that before I did the other thing. That's probably why I heard the. Eh. Oh. Okay, let's try that again. Okay. Luigi. Okay. Cool. 
cool, cool game. I spilled, I spilled water all over myself in anger. Mm. There we go. Okay, 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 okay. Drop the shoe, and we'll make do. Go through the door, don't jump anymore. Just fade me, bro. Just end me. Uh, Jan. So, you were coming in on one of these thingies before yesterday just fine you're not anymore do you think you know you could figure out what i might need to tinker with okay stay in the box stay in the box oh yes i think you're right so what if i go here here change my output to cable a you think All right, folks, can you hear the Jan man? I'm speaking now. You gotta say something so they can I'm, know it. I can't I'm, hear you anymore. <laughs> oh, wonder. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna fix that though. I think they can hear you. Your line is bumping now. My line um, is bumping. I think oh, I just okay. click on this, go to here. Now I gotta and stop Go cussing. here. Say something? I feel like I gotta, there you I go. Gotta say stuff. I there fixed go. it. There All by go, myself. Buddy. I don't need you anymore. Well, I'll leave. <laughs> um, Jan, welcome to the stream. Well, uh, thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hey, everybody. How's it going? It's your l l uh, internet. <laughs> exactly. Yup. Okay. Um... I had a question for you. Yes. I it was. Oh. Um, and then I'm, I'm I'm reading through emails, and then I have no idea. You probably run into this just as much as uh, everyone runs into this, probably, where you get a bunch of folks um, adding you on LinkedIn, and then you just wind up accepting, right? Because mm -hmm. you then, know you really want to expand that um, that the, net, the network. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and excuse me. I'll, I'll, you're excused. I don't know if I'm doing it too early or too late. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, you're, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, I'm scrolling through my timeline on LinkedIn every once in a while. And then I'm getting notifications saying, Hey, congratulate blah, blah, blah for their promotion. I'm like, I don't know who the fuck that is. Yes. But congratulations. Yeah, congratulate congrats on your promotion in seven years at uh, self employed. <laughs> they were really holding themselves back. Okay, I'm gonna stay in the block. Now what? Oh. Oh. That's different. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't like it. Oh boy. Uh, ben, I asked Abby this yesterday, but are you familiar with Roddy Rich and the box? Uh, I, mm, maybe. I'm familiar with the box. Maybe. You know, the song goes, Eat her! Eat her! Something, something, cash out. No? No. Okay. Unimportant. It sounds nice, though. I've been discovering a lot of new music uh, in this time. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I actually <laughs> sat through and listened to an entire 100 Gex song for the first time in my life. <laughs> wow. Okay. I'm going to wait for this guy. Okay, I don't think there's anything up here. Do I just got to get ready to run? Let's see. Huh. Yes. Oh, yes. 
Um. Okay. We're fine. Then I don't want to peel back the curtain too much on um, stuff that's going on behind the scenes. But after the things we were doing yesterday, it took me a very long time to untrain my mind again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like I was getting mad hurt. at myself for speaking like a normal human. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My partner would just ask me, like, what's wrong with you? Um, am I just... I wonder if you missed the timing window there. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. I don't like these kinds of levels. <laughs> I like fast-paced precision platforming. These just make me mad. Just kidding, I've never gotten mad at a video game, and why start now? Right, right. But at this point, I feel like I need to at least finish this one. Okay. Okay. Alright. We're good here. And I just don't move. And now I move. Okay, so I'm... Hey, there we go. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, another pixel and I would have been in trouble. supposed to do Benjamin yes I may have to uh, briefly dip out no please the... go for um, it uh, I can pop back in or just holler or the giant bomb brain trust will probably uh, pop in to solve any other additional issues but yeah I'll, I'll be uh, back in maybe like 20 to 30 yeah, sounds good. You're still, you're still rolling along. Thanks, Jan. All right. See you. Bye. Okay. I don't even... Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to be part of the Giant Bomb Brain Trust. Oh, boy. Okay, here's a series of questions. Number one... Uh, -huh. uh, have you tried, uh, undocking the switch and then putting it back in? Uh, I dock with my switch on a daily basis and don't get into my personal life, please. Thank you. Well, then I, th that's, you passed with flying colors. Congratulations. <laughs> that's Welcome all it takes. Okay, great. Great. F fantastic. I didn't know it was that kind of brain trust. Right. <laughs> Uh, it's like it's like a it's like almost like a, a trust circle, right? It's like uh, whatever stays here. Like we don't stream the stuff out in this in this brain trust. Whatever stays here stays here. Uh -huh. Oh gosh, are you? What are you docking with? Right now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Do you ever forget to not stay in the box? Because yes. that's me right now. No, Ben. I don't know if you've heard this, I'm the man in the box. Oh, like a mime. I was yeah. um I was thinking more like an Alice in Chains, but a mime also works. When I was in high school, um it was Halloween, like it was like sophomore year or something. So everyone was dressing up. Uh I decided to dress up as a mime. Um mm -hmm. probably under the influence of my mom who is French and loves mimes, but I dressed up as this mime, right? And it was as a moderate hit you know whatever like i, I pulled <laughs> yeah. off the invisible box routine the fake piano stuff pretty well but uh 
when ooh, uh, I had a class, I had an English class with a, somebody I had a crush on. And uh -huh. she was like, oh, are you blah, blah, blah? Some famous French mime, apparently. Like, the, the famous mime. And I was just like... Oh, uh, Jean-Claude... Jean my name, Jean Claude. Um... My name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's My him. Um... Oh fuck. Marcel, 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 Marcel. Okay. Yeah. And I was just like, oh yeah, oh yeah. I, I love Marcel Marceau. He's my favorite. Uh -huh. He. Uh... And I was like, did you know he actually invented the uh, piano trick? And she was like, no, he didn't. Or like, I didn't know that. And I was just like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I read a whole book about him. And she was like, oh yeah, what's the book? I'd love mm. to read that. <laughs> I just mm. was like, uh. Wait, oh, it sold out. A, I, it, it's a beautiful mime. <laughs> so, uh, See, that's, so that's, think, that's way too clever for sweaty sophomore Ben to come up with. <laughs> a mime is a terrible thing to waste. Um... <laughs> Uh, don't me, myself, mind me. and mime. <laughs> yes, there you go. <laughs> uh, don't mind me. I'm just uh, annoying you uh, by being a mime. Uh, uh, it's a mime field out there. It's, uh, a mime is a terrible thing to waste. I don't know. You might have yeah, already said that. <laughs> I think I said that. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? Um, you, you put the mime in the coconut and, and, and dr drink it all up. You, uh, you tell me when to stop. Uh, you Never. put um, uh, uh, the killing mime. Uh, now I'm just putting words together I, now. I don't understand uh, even what I'm supposed to do here. Uh, mime to die. Um, uh, What's yours uh, is mime. I like that. Okay, okay. Uh, mime. Mime. <laughs> mime. 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 Uh, it's, uh, it's burger mime. It's, uh, it's hammer mime. It's, uh, wow, mime just... Once you got time in there, you can do a lot of stuff. <laughs> uh, I'm leaving this. I give up. I'm tapping out. Okay, fine. I'll stop. I'll stop. <laughs> no, you're the only thing keeping me going right now. Okay. Um, let's look at the... I... <coughs> Excuse me. I never really miss these speed runs. Let's see if I can get into one of these. <coughs> oh, I got a tickle in my Ooh. throat. Excuse me. I had one of those uh, on a recording, and it just sounds so bad, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's like people are probably like, oh, why don't you mute your mic? And it's like, yeah, why don't they mute their mic? There's a button literally well, that, right in front of them you can push. It's not even that. I just, I just hear, I hear it back, and it's just like, and I'm like, oh, man, just a little, like, coughing in the background just you know the hypersensitivity around everything and i, I get it it's just like you don't want to hear somebody coughing yeah especially even if it's even right now even if it's a chip cough. stuck in my throat yes yeah especially now um a little bit of water did the trick though let me do that okay. you ever wonder okay okay you must be, it must be um it's like back of the throat stuff right that's yeah. where the tickle must come because uh, the wa what is the water doing there? It's I'm just washing it down your gullet. It's probably oh uh, uh, oh okay what? Mm -hmm. um, sorry, I have no idea what's happening. Uh, I was under the impression that it like um, helped the tissue just like not be. Cause I imagined it was like some sort of inflamed tissue or something. Hmm. Um, oh, it's not like not like a so it's just like soothing. It's just like moisturizing. Yeah. Okay. Um, like when you have really like dry mouth and you drink some water and it clears that mucus out. A lot mm. of we're gonna talk about a lot of mucus stuff on the stream today. Um, uh, I uh, I bought these things. Hey, here's a, here's a fun thing for people who are watching your stream right now. Uh, yeah. they're gonna get this cool cool tip from uh, the Vin Man. If you're at home, let's say you have kids. Uh, you're at home and you're like, what am I doing all day? I've got nothing to do. I bought these things. Um, I don't know if people want to uh, purchase them, but these little Carson um, uh, uh, pocket microscope things, and they're like 14 bucks. 
and I got two of them, one for each of the kids, and they go around and they do like a two a hundred times magnification on stuff and like what? Uh, up to 200 they're amazing i've been using them just looking at everything there's these little carson um uh tiny little pocket microscopes they're they're super cheap and we've just been running around the house looking at all everything everything then except for bugs because you don't want to know what that looks like you you're, Ooh, a you're little bug. Off. you don't want to look at a bug i don't want to like, look um, at a bug with one times microscope yeah, oh. yeah. you don't want to that's uh um you, you you don't have to you don't want to see that uh but these things are so cool and like, like again they were like like 12 or 15 bucks they were so uh relatively inexpensive for the amount of time we were able to uh spend doing them with them it's cool that sounds cool like what's the coolest thing you looked at up close and you're like whoa i had no idea uh my son's like um he's got like one of those uh spandexy shirts and I was like, wow, how is this going to, what is this going to look like? And you could see like all the threads of that spandex was super cool. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. It's just like, just like, you know, you're like, yes. Oh, right. Yes. This is made of, of uh, uh, material. That's um, the first thing that ever blew my mind with a microscope was looking at Velcro up close and being like, oh my God, it's just little <laughs> hooks and loops. Like, <laughs> right. This is right. This is right. Yeah. This isn't magic at all. Yeah. This is lit literally a tiny, tiny little hook. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the, the, those are super fun. Um, and I looked at uh, I looked at my back of my hand and like a hair, and that was like really wild. Um, look at you running! Wow, you oh wow, wow. This level's wow. messed up. It's it's you just have to do the wow. opposite of all the arrows, but it's so hard on these speed run levels because you're designed to just like follow the arrows. So are you, you're a, you're a, I mean, this is maybe a, I'm a scientist, different question, yeah. but you're not a telescope guy necessarily? I would be. They're okay. just seem a lot more expensive. Yeah. <laughs> not a pocket telescope uh, out there. <laughs> oh, like I said, you live my purse. I'm already in the brain trust, so you live my pocket <laughs> telescope out of this. But uh, yeah, I, I always am uh, um, of the, I don't know. Uh, okay, two things, ready? Yes. Uh, a telescope takes up a lot more room. Okay, yes. All right, three three things, three things. A telescope takes up a lot more room. I feel like you need to have a better environment to use it where you don't get a lot of light pollution. Um, and so I think you know, close to the city where I am is not a great oh, place to sure. use a telescope. Oh, sure. You'd have to make a drive. Like, yeah, like they always seem like, oh, I live uh, in, in the upstate somewhere or, or in, more in the country because, you know, I don't think I've seen a star since I moved back to the East Coast. <laughs> And then um, uh, C, the last thing, number three, um, is that I think I, I have a feeling that cheaper telescopes are more frustrating to use than cheaper uh, these pocket telescopes, right? Yeah. Like a less expensive optics. Well, I could be wrong. I haven't looked into it, but um, like, what do I want to see with a telescope? I want to see like craters on the moon. Like, I want to be like right. That. You want to see. You don't want to just see like, oh, it's like it's just another bright circle, but it's bigger. <laughs> Yes, right. I don't want to have to do math to have a good time of like, oh, now I can track this star over the course of a year. I want to be like looking at uh, Neil Armstrong's footprint. So um, like that, I think that's the level. And that's why I was so shocked with these little pocket microscopes was like, oh, these are, you can actually see stuff. This isn't like a magnifying glass. This is amazing. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I, I yes, uh, I love all things that uh, appear into the world, appear through the pierce the veil is what I'm really trying to say. Right. Uh, uh, see uh, that let you see ghosts. I love all things that let you see ghosts. Uh, have you ever used a spectrometer or an EMF reader? Uh, uh, wow, 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 nice. Uh, no, no. Uh, an EMF reader, like uh, like define an EMF reader in the terms because th those could be used to just pick up any kind of electromagnetic signal, right? Yes, but if you're in a spooky zone, um, uh -huh. Uh -huh. so I, I, I've probably never, I'm sure I've told this on the Bombcast or something, but I'd probably never talked to you about it. I used to be part, well, not part. I went out with a ghost hunting troop a few times, uh -huh. um, and they had thousands upon thousands of dollars worth of equipment uh, and would stake out stuff like abandoned hospital. Mm-hmm. Um, 
uh, graveyards and stuff like that. And one, one guy, I was talking to one guy, um, he spent uh, $4,500 worth of, no, he's, he bought $4,500 worth of a specifically ghost finding equipment. Uh, and I was like, oh cool, what have you found? Just, you know, I thought that was not, I'm sure he gets that question a lot from people who are like trying to be snarky, but I was really curious. I'm just like, oh, like, you know, what do you have to show for it? And he got very upset with me. <gasps> um, Cause I, you know, he was probably dealing with a lot of people who were questioning why he was spending $4,500 worth of ghost hunting equipment. Uh, but then he was like, well, you can know, after I was like, no, really, I'm, I'm, cur like, I'm here. I'm writing an, I was writing a story for my uh, community college newspaper about it because I knew the person who ran it. Um, I was like, no, I'm, I'm really curious. I want to know, like, what have you gotten? And so he's like, well, you can go to my website and I've documented all the stuff there. So I went to the website and there was six MP3s of somewhat ghosty sounds. Uh -huh. uh, three pictures of will-o'-wisps. Uh-huh. And um, What did a Willow Wisp look like? Uh like a like kind of a lens flare. Okay, okay. And there was one other thing. It was like a, a virtual tour uh of like a ghost ship that he went on, but there wasn't actually any like ghosts that he found. So not even virtual ghosts. Not even virtual ghosts. And this was in like two thousand eight where you could really just fake stuff on the internet and everyone would believe it. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh. Oh. What he's. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Ben. That's gone away. Nobody puts fake <laughs> stuff up on the internet anymore. You're right. I'm so glad we're past that time. Well, we're actually. Uh, yeah. We're, now that you mentioned it, we are back in the. Like there was a there was a little there was a couple of years there where everyone kind of learned what Photoshop was and was just like able to look at stuff and be like, oh yeah, that's all. well not everyone, but I feel like now with deep fakes we're just all fucked. Um. Deep fakes are all fucked. Yeah, it's getting worse and worse. Hello? <gasps> what? Okay, great. Now we've got everybody here that I need to ask this question to. I don't know if you've heard. Uh, we've got all the ghost uh, uh, the, the ghost people here. Uh, yes. Here we go. Ready? Because I got I get teased about this theory a bunch, uh, but I think it's solid. Okay. Hit me. What if ghosts are aliens? Okay. What? I have a lot of questions. Yeah, start. I've, I've, uh, the, the chat probably has heard this a million times, but here we go. Um, okay, I'm trying to figure out which direction to go first. Okay. Okay. If they are, yeah. um, why are they here? They're, uh, uh, they're here uh, they're, because what are aliens, right? We don't know. So you got you got to back up. What if they exist in a in a in a same plane as us, but a different dimension, right? Like what if they what if they kind of vibrate in and out, right? Okay. Um. So traditionally, the thing with ghosts is they're like people with unfinished business, right? They're like the spirits of the formerly living. That's what um, people. That's that's what people make right. up to explain it. I'm talking about real ghosts. That's probably. tradition. Yeah, no, no, no. That's traditional like ghost mythology. Um, oh god, this level's really messing with me even more than the arrow one because I'm attracted to grabbing coins more than I'm attracted to following arrows. Um, so I lost my train of thought. Uh, I like, fully man, believe your man, theory. Serious for real. Serious for real. That makes the most sense. Like I'm not saying. Now I'm not saying ghosts are real. I'm not right. saying that. Like, don't put me on the record as that. But I am saying I probably think al I do think aliens exist somewhere Agreed. in this in this universe. Probably somewhere. So I'm saying like, what if once in a while one of those things like appears and you're like that's a ghost, but really that was an alien. Uh, so do you think why, they're getting here by like phasing, like you were saying, or like I'm how are, sure are they traveling in ships? Maybe. Maybe it's not intentional. Maybe it's just one of those things that, like, you know, like I said, you know, there's uh, stuff just kind of like, we have no idea what an alien is. It doesn't have to be the little green man, right? It could be energy beings. It could be stuff, yeah. uh, multidimensional things, you know, right. stuff that, you know, those futurists talk about when they pay them to come on those shows and talk about stuff. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, I'm glad I've converted two more people. Thank you very much. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm coming. Topic. I'm coming on board here. Um, do you think they have any malicious intent? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Do you think that we, since okay, the, here, here's okay, my real I, question. I, I, I will say uh, yes to uh, if they are here intentionally. Yes. If they're here accidentally, they wish they did. Maybe, like, the first one ended up here on accident, and then, like, was just like, well, I found this planet. These people are pretty messed up. I think we could scout this out. Uh, I, do you ever, do you ever hear, like, most, uh, or not most, there are a lot of times when you hear uh, actual people who study science talk about aliens and stuff, um, a lot of times the ones I really like are like, wow, I'm... I, I would it'd be awesome to see if there's other life out there, but I'm really glad we haven't encountered it because anything that is uh, ab able to find us intentionally probably wants to uh, do it. Right, if they're advanced enough that they want to leave their planet and come <laughs> look for other shit, it is bad news for us. P probably, if uh, but maybe we're maybe we're kind of just kind of mapping more human traits onto aliens. I love how uh, Jeff is. Uh, he's just I, I imagine him at his computer, mouth agape. Uh, uh, Hovering yes. over the unmute button. <laughs> just, just like, I'm not ready to join this conversation. Just hands on head, mouth agape, uh, uh, trying to process all of this. I want to ask you which is a more likely scenario, two scenarios. Uh -huh. uh, scenario one, what we just talked about. There is some alien force out there who, like, whatever, they need oxygen. And so they come to Earth and yeah. take our oxygen and fuck us. Or, That's how they make their their uh, their iPhones is oxygen. They need right. Um, what is what is more likely? Either that, or there is uh, aliens appear like a spaceship. You know, is headed towards the planet, and we freak out and like blow them up. And they were just here on a mission for peace to try and spread like technology through the universe to other advanced life forms. And we oh, man, completely mess it so, up. These are both so plausible. Okay, so <laughs> the first one I could definitely see. Uh, an advanced civilization that is looking for resources and finds us and we have some kind of resource they would want. I could also see a communication breakdown with some unknown and uh, we make the first hostile step because we couldn't figure that communication out. Uh, uh, what? If, okay, I'll meet you in the middle. How about this, Ben? Yeah. What if, what if that alien, uh, what if that alien species we encounter is like, oh no, these fools are trapped in their corporeal bodies. We need to <laughs> liberate them. Uh, because we know about, uh, this, because uh, in our civilization, uh, your, your, your life starts after you're freed from this physical form. So it's like a training like, mode. Yeah, well, they're just like, oh no, somebody's come here and trapped all these, uh, these idiots <laughs> in these flesh bodies. Uh, let's let's vaporize them to free their inner whatever that we don't have, or maybe we do and we don't know about it, and they it's just a bad communication issue. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel like a uh, bad communication issue will happen no matter what with aliens. No, oh yeah, oh yeah. Except math, uh, right? Wasn't that what some yeah, movie? Yeah, Jodie Foster figured it out. <laughs> you just talk yeah, to them in math because it's universal or whatever. The universal language of love is math and French. I thought, um, was, I thought the universal language of love was German. Uh, that's a specific kind of love. You gotta turn that safe search off. Do you ever see uh, Better Off Dead? Mm, who's in that? Uh, 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 the brother. <laughs> What's a, what, Cusack. Uh, oh, uh, uh, John. John. Cusack. Yeah. Yeah, the brother, not the sister, Joan Cusack. No, no. They have a. Uh, they have a uh, exchange student. She's French, and um, the, the, she's over. And the family that's hosting them uh, is trying to do everything to make her feel welcome. So that the table. I just remember when you hear the language of love, French, and then the mom is like, "We made French fries, French <laughs> dressing." Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it plays better. Than that just reminds me of Freedom Fries. Yeah, and that was a thing. A simpler time. <laughs> yes. uh, do you think those are still uh, branded anywhere in the country still as Freedom Fries? Do you think we're over there? In the White Somebody House. Print 
Somebody printed a menu. Somebody printed a menu and is like, I'm not. I can't, you want me to print another menu? I already had to change it oh, once. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I like this level. This level yeah. It's uh, it's neat. The the idea of just like hold on to the thing until you see the little cube and then you launch it. You spell out GG in the blocks there. That's cute. People who are still making levels at this uh, in this game right now have a really good understanding of the language of Mario, right? They're able to kind of assume like, hey, you're still playing Mario Maker. I'm still making Mario levels. I'm going to design this this way for you. And you're going to be able to read it. And you're going to die a few times. But hey, there you go. Um... Like I I never understood that language. It's like it's the it's it's the third love language. <laughs> um, hold on a sec. I'm gonna answer uh, Jeff in here. He's in the Discord. Hi, Jeff. He's he's in there, but his uh, thing is muted. Hi, Jeff. It's this is just a platformer level. This is kind of fun. I'm trying to think. Uh, mm -hmm. What other great movies you've seen with John Cusack? <laughs> uh, there was Hotel, no, Room 237. Um, uh huh. That was a See, spooky John Cusack movie. John Cusack and Toys? Was it? No. It was Joan Cusack is in Toys. Yes, and Cuba Gooding Jr. Yeah, but who's the protagonist? Who's the main? Robin Williams. No, he's not the main guy, right? Yeah, he is. He, I, I mean, he's like the. I mean, he's the main guy, um, <laughs> but like he's not the. Um, he's he's oh boy. I watched oh, Toys for the first time last year and really liked it. Yeah, me too. It's oddly prescient with all the stuff about like child soldiers dr flying drones for the army. Yeah. Um, but it's weird. It's I think that like I, I was reading up about it after I watched it and a big part of why it was so poorly received is because like tons of parents were like, oh, Robin Williams movie called Toys. Let me take my <laughs> seven year old to this. Yeah. And did not love what they saw. When did that come out? 1992. Okay. Okay. Is that post flubber? Oh boy. You're just going down the catalog now, huh? Well, I'm trying to think of what other like kids Robin William movies were out by then. Aladdin? Uh, Aladdin was late 80s? Oh boy. I am I'm so bad at this game. Me too. Uh, <laughs> movie, I, I, I love I, movies. I'm terrible at movie trivia. I'm bad at uh, actors and actresses yep. and uh, movie movie things, release dates. Uh, let's just we'll say yes. How about that? Every it, it will say pre Happy Feet or post Happy Feet. Uh, <laughs> uh, Flubber was ninety seven. Okay, I went to see Flubber in theaters and the film burned up at the climax and my <gasps> mom was like, "Oh, you know, we can go get a refund and see it again." And I think I said, "No, I'm good." Oh, <laughs> really? Okay. Uh, I don't know if I've seen Flubber all the way through. I might have been... Uh, I was in college during Flubber, so that might have been... Uh, a little, I yeah. Been, uh, outside my... Uh, my going to see movie wheelhouse. Let's see. Do you know there's a Happy Feet 2? I didn't. Hmm. Happy your feet. They dance to the cha-cha slide, I bet. I don't know <laughs> if that's true, but it feels true. <laughs> Well, I've never seen Happy Feet 2, so I don't know if that they they go in on my ghost alien stuff, but if they do, somebody owes me money. Somebody owes me. You ever Where if like wait, so if ghosts are they're just ghosts? Or ghosts are like, oh I see like they Yeah. Yeah, that's another thing, but then also by that extent, what we're gonna be the aliens to somebody, right? What I'm saying is we're all right. My theory. Sometimes, Jeff. Oh, 
I feel oh, like I'm oh. in a... <laughs> Humanity. I see wow, what's definitely. happening. Jeff, you joined the chat. Vinny did not tell me what you relayed in the chat there. Oh, what happened? Oh, wait, you couldn't hear Jeff in the. In I the had Discord? Jeff muted because oh, from oh the... we both had each other muted from the because that's how we <laughs> that's how we do the after show. Uh, Jeff said, uh, Jeff said, man, this alien, uh, this alien person theory, uh, alien ghost theory is spot on. I did a little research while I was off the Discord and uh, checks out. Turns out you're right. Yeah, no, it's it's 100 percent true. Uh, I've got a. I've got a baby here that uh, she just sneezed in support of it. I think that means because <laughs> babies can see ghosts. I don't know if you know that. Yes. Babies and cats. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, everybody knows. Everybody knows this. Yeah. Everybody knows. And they're allergic to them. That's why. Oh they sneeze. yes, yes. They sneeze at ghosts and and also sometimes point at them. And I mean, you've heard. You said, what do they? What do they sneeze at? Ghosts and pepper and i believe you have both heard of a ghost pepper so uh rest rest my case yeah uh q q e d i think is what you <laughs> q q e d rest my case q e d the east coast family yeah uh yeah. i was touching the flag sorry uh, please go on uh, that's, a, that's a violation that's mm -hmm. uh, i don't I know what you are about this flag touching yeah I don't know what you're doing over there. How'd you hey, die man, on this one? If without, Harvey oh, Danger can sit on a whole flagpole, why can't I touch one? Because Harvey Danger doesn't respect society, clearly. <laughs> also, That's Harvey true. Danger's been stretching out and taking a lot of like precautions before Harvey Danger sat on that whole flag, okay? Yeah, I don't no, think Harvey, <laughs> Harvey Danger has watched that Mr. Hands video like 20, 30 times and is not going to go out like that. No, Har Harvey Danger is a professional. Ah, oh, what what do you uh, what what mode are you in here, Ben? Where you just are you just in like the arcade uh, free just the go popular mode? Popular courses. Uh, I filtered by expert, um, okay. which means they have a clear rate from I think like two to ten percent. Okay, I'm just going down the list. Uh, I'm gonna do a couple more chat. You know, if you have any levels you want to see me play specifically, just use the ask a question thing. I'll try some of those out. But have you played my levels? My levels are probably good. I don't know if I've um, played your levels. Let me see. Uh, how I mean, do I'm I in chat, find... So maybe I count. I don't know. How do I find my friends? <laughs> gate Here, levels. I thing? am in chat. There we go. Proof. Uh, is there a... like? Can I not just like find my friends' courses? Oh, that would be uh, real. That'd be real cool if you could do that. Gosh, imagine if you could do that. It just what a fun feature like... that would be. <laughs> no, you know what? Uh, I got Ian apologizing in the chat for sending me bad levels. It's fine. I'm. I do. I'm gonna try one more of those messed up troll levels that you sent in, just because those are fun for everyone except me. Aww. My opinion matters too, you guys. I went from having one friend on my Switch to now that Animal Crossing is out, to having two friends on my Switch. Wow. Yeah. Uh, -huh. uh huh. I have a lot. Okay. I have too many because of Animal Crossing. I might have three now. I might have three. I think I added my little brother. Okay. All right, this has a 1.41 clear rate. That. I should be able to do that. I'm in the top 1.41% Mario Maker level, guys. Jeff, do you have a go-to toy for the baby? Have you gotten into um, people recommending Sophie the Giraffe to you yet? Sophie the Giraffe, no, okay. I haven't okay. heard. Okay. Might have a couple months on that one. Yeah, no, that's... Uh... <laughs> you're not teething yet, right? This is yeah, no, two, a couple, two teeth. Two oh, teeth coming in. No, yeah. Oh, wow. two, two, two lower teeth coming coming through, about maybe a quarter, halfway up, somewhere around there. Doesn't yeah. that seem exceptionally painful? Uh, it seems like that would be unpleasant. Yeah. <laughs> just like, uh, just this thing bursting through your gums slowly. Yeah, and you're like, well, I guess I gotta um, just bite on this cold thing, <laughs> full, of, full of cold liquid until it feels better. Yes. Uh, it's, man, things kids put up with. Yeah. Yeah, and the yes, the, the the teeth, the the gas pains. <laughs> yes, that I'm a little more familiar with. That I've got some more recent firsthand. 
But like, just like, you know, just imagine like a kid is like, is this, is this it forever now? Like, is right. this, is this, do, is, do we just life. do this? Yeah. Do we just, do I just, or are, are teeth going to, are these pointy things going to come out of all parts of my body? <laughs> like, right. And, they... and the answer is yes. <laughs> um, yeah. It's a, what a, what a tough, what a tough so thing. It's, it's kind of the, the thing we're going through with the, um, She's wearing her hip brace uh, yeah. all day, every day. And so th that was a real, like, is this what it's going to be like forever sort of yes. thing uh, in its own in its own weird way. And now she's, like, kind of crawling, but kind of crawls backwards because of probably because of the brace. Oh, oh, so okay. Kind of scoots backwards. And, uh, yeah. Does she, have to, does she have to sleep with it on at night? Yep. Yeah. She does she okay able... with it. It's, it's, she does, you know, okay. Yeah, they they were like, oh, there'll be an adjustment period, but it's harder on the parents than on the kids. Mm. Kind of but, kids uh, are adaptable. Yeah, they're adaptable. Um, and then uh, I think uh, it's 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 amazing because as the uh, as the kids get older, uh, that kind of translates into weird stuff of like, oh, you're gonna think how we do things in this house or how everybody do, does things in a house, and that's dangerous but fun yeah, but really right? fun. That's, yeah. Like uh, like when you realize that a kid will kind of just trust you on like <laughs> no, if you uh you know if you don't brush your teeth uh do you know that uh your monster eats you or uh or uh you're turning into an alien ghost or yeah. uh you know uh if you don't brush your teeth then your toys melt and then you you kind of melt one toy just just to show them and then leave that in the room. Right, yeah. Give him, just, you know, find an army man or something like that, stretch the yeah. head out real. It's like, ooh, like, who, didn't br who didn't brush? Yeah. Oh, boy. Opposite of the Tooth Fairy. Opposite of the Tooth Fairy is the yeah. fl flaming hot demon that will come into your room looking for uh, flaming hot breath, is, mm -hmm. uh, is what we say. Yeah. In this house. <laughs> um, yeah, bad breath demon. That's yeah. That's our thing. <laughs> yeah no I, I think the the thing with us you know through a lot of this stuff recently is like we were supposed to go mid-may to get new x-rays and see if this brace can come off or if this brace is like we switch to nighttime only or, or whatever and then that's like you're gonna go to a hospital in may no. right now yeah no uh, not if i can help it no and so I don't know what that looks like when the time comes. Yeah. Uh, are, is there, um, I'm sure they're, not to get too into it, but are you outside of the complete checkup window or is it you're just, it was a check-in kind of thing? Like it was, I guess what I'm trying to say is, are you in a window where decisions had to be made or it's just kind of just more of a check-in? It was a check-in to see like, I, and I think, you know, that could have, the x-rays would have been like, hey, this is working out great and now you can switch to nighttime or it might be mm -hmm. like, hey, this isn't working and we need to get ready for surgery or something along those lines or, or, or who knows. But um, a lot of nice people have uh, gotten in touch and said uh, that they've been, that they had kids in braces, much more severe braces than the one that we're in. Um, and I've known, I've known, cases. I've known at least two. Uh, yeah. Uh, two, uh, one at least with the hip, and then uh, uh, two others with uh, other other brace stuff. And uh, yeah. I'm not gonna name names, but uh, mm -hmm. it's a, it's a, again amazing how quickly kids can adapt and the bodies can adapt. Yeah, I'm sure they said this, but it's like yeah. the earlier the better, right? Right, and and so that that ended up being kind of the first scary thing is that like normally this is something that when it's very severe they catch it kind of at birth, and you know with with us it was mild to moderate which is mm. good but then that also means they caught it at the very tail end of like okay we can try a brace oh, i see uh, okay so, um but uh we've, we've you know as you start to research it and, and then talk to other parents that have gone through similar stuff the the word has definitely been like ah the brace works the brace the brace definitely <laughs> works so so I'm, I'm feeling all right about it but you know obviously yeah yes and it's uh, the good news is that worry never goes away yeah, that's the other. Yeah, that's yes. That uh, that that constant uh, that constant stress. Uh, apparently, from talking to uh, parents of adults now, apparently it just never goes away. 
and yeah. probably probably only gets worse as things like cars get involved mm -hmm. and uh, you know uh, decision making gets involved. Yeah, d judgment calls. Judge know. judgment calls, right? Exactly. Uh, did I teach this? Did I teach appropriate judgment skill? Did I, did I teach it in a way that it will be followed, or yes. would the opposite of it be done deliberately? <laughs> exactly. Did I did I instill enough resentment to try and rebel against this? Uh, what what have I done? Right. What oh have God. I done? What have I done? Yeah. Oh God! What have I done? Mm -hmm. oh. What have I done? What have you done, what have, Ben? What just happened? Uh, you gotta hit that. You gotta. You gotta get hit by the buzz saw. Jump up. Hit the switch while you're still invincible, and then. Uh, I did win. that, and then the next one. It's all. Easy peasy. Oh, you can't do it now. Oh boy. I'm having a time. Of your life. I'm having the um, time of my life. Yeah, I think that's. Oh. And I owe it all to you, chat. Whoa. This is the part. This is. Okay. Uh oh. I can't tell what's yeah. happening. This okay. is too that's... far behind. We're not there yet. Yeah. I'm going to assume something great happened. Okay, I'm pretty sure something great happened. Oh, I got a one-up. Great. That's good. What? Yeah. Wow. Did you throw a controller down at some point? Uh, throw is a loaded <laughs> word. <laughs> all right, all right. Did you, did you, uh, for Replaced comedic effect, make controller, controller noises because something happened? Oh. You just got hit by a fish. How long ago did that happen? <laughs> oh, uh, a few minutes. A minute. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Let me, uh... All right. Yeah, I think I just got... I I saw the fish, like, even after that, so... <laughs> okay. I'm going to reload this page. Yeah, I'm going to reload my page as well. That's no, a... I think it's... The, I think everyone's that far behind. Yeah. Did you make the controller noise when you got hit by the fish? Yes. Okay. okay. All right. Uh oh, I reloaded. Now I just got a black screen. No, no, that's right. Is that this right? This level's crazy. This level's oh, crazy. Oh man, that's, that's, this level's dark. Yeah. Nighttime levels. <sighs> I I'm trying to decide what I should, uh, what I should stream today. Huh. Yeah, so here. I want to, so I... let me run this past you, Jeff, because okay. you know a lot about video games. You, you, hey, listen, you know maybe the most of anybody in the world about video games. That's, you that definitely, definitely, definitely has the people I know personally. So I'm going to okay. ask you this. Okay. Has anybody ever beaten Solar Jetman? You know, I'm going to say yes. Hmm. You didn't sound too sure, though. Um, I'm going to say absolutely. Um, okay. I'm looking at a YouTube video of a tool assisted speed run. No, that doesn't count. All right. Second follow up yeah. question. Okay. Is Solar Jetman a good game? I'm gonna say no. What? Good name. That's for sure. <laughs> what? Solar Jetman. I can't tell if it's a good game, but I love it. Uh, according to speedrun.com, the mother brain 86 ran it in uh, a little under 21 minutes about a year ago. That's not tool assisted. That's just a, a plain old speed run. Ooh. All right. So That's all the parts. Are you gonna let a thirty-three-year-old show you up on Solar Jetman? Yes. I know, right? Yes. But what I was kind of getting at is, uh, so you may stream Solar Jetman. Well, I want to stream Solar Jetman at some point, but I can't yeah. tell if it's a good game or just very frustrating. I think that's why you should stream it and and let mm. the public decide as you play it, uh, what what they think of of what you're playing. Okay, nether, nether, uh is this game uh, really good or do I just think it's really good? Ready? Here okay. we go. Sp speed round. Okay. Uh, Blackthorn. Uh, really good. Okay. Good. <laughs> All right, good. Okay. Uh, flashback. Uh, uh, it's good. It's not a good game. It's cool. Okay, okay. Uh, out of this world. Uh, I think it's the worst one of those, but also maybe the first so or one of the one of the early examples so it's important but okay 
Uh, original Prince of Persia. Uh, incredibly it's... important. Not a good game. Not a good game. Oh man. Not no, okay. How about this? Did not hold up. Uh, Stunt Race FX. Never a good game. <laughs> okay, I agree with you on that. Okay. Yeah, bad forever. Uh, uh, all right. I think I, th I think those. I think if we're talking the Super Nintendo, some of my favorites, Blackthorn. Um, okay, well, I'll throw in. Uh, it was Genesis, but I'll throw in Flashback and uh, Out of This World. That that those games. I don't know what you call those. I mean, Flashback and Out of This World had that rotoscopy thing going on. Yeah. Blackthorn just you can hold the shotgun behind you, and that's cool. Yeah, that is cool. Uh, I really I enjoyed all of those. Um, that's, I played that's Blackthorn my... on the PC. You did? Okay. Yeah. Is it is it uh, similar? Because I feel like back then, uh, I feel like it probably stuff could did, be very different. Like it was, it maybe a little bit better in some ways than the Super Nintendo version. I don't know. I feel like every time I look at the Super Nintendo version, I go like, why is this blurry? Oh, sure. Or like the, the audio. You know, sometimes the the audio on in a SNES game can be muddy. Yeah. Yeah, Compared to the not, Genesis, which is yeah, razor sharp, cr you know? And crunchy. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know it was on PC. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, it's, Blizzard. Uh, it's Blizzard, yeah. 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 I wonder if, uh, I wonder if any, on any whiteboard is uh, is Blackthorn 2. Uh, in, in any office in a Blizzard, uh, Blizzard environment. Blackthorn is going to be the new Overwatch character. That's as close as you're going to get. And his special move is uh is just shooting the shotgun behind. Yeah, him. Shoot, you can shoot behind right. him. Shoot behind him. <laughs> is he uh, in? Is he in? Um, whatever their Dota is, Heroes of the Storm. Heroes of the Storm. Weird. Heroes I remember of the that. Storm. I don't yes. think so. Well, fuck that game then. They Three Vikings put... are in it. For the Lost. Yeah, Vikings. that's cool. I mean, Olaf is good. <laughs> unleashes hot fear i feel like my love of the the lost vikings that's a i like that game a lot but also olaf is in rock and roll racing and uh as a hidden character and so i just think of him as the guy i always played as in rock and roll racing oh okay yeah i mean that's fair because the announcer hey. would always say olaf lights him up and that's just uh, that's just how it went so rock and roll racing is one they probably could never do because of all the licensing stuff right yeah, there, there was a sequel um, that I think came out here as just Red Asphalt for PlayStation, and it's not, oh. a, it's not a good game. Um, oh. And then they they did re-release it for like GBA. Uh, I think they oh. went and, and did whatever. I think they did whatever licensing they needed to do to make it happen, and and did a version. Pretty sure that happened, but I, if I remember right, that music in the GBA version, like any GBA game, kind of sucks. <laughs> like any audio coming out of a Game Boy Advance, yeah, they did. They did a GBA version of that. I remember it being subpar, and a subpar version of a great game. And so, was that on the PC? No. Okay, so that was just consoles. So there was never any version of that that had anything but, uh, you know, kind of digitized versions of the songs no, nothing with right yeah okay. interesting what a weird time yeah uh, and, and then what, there was some developer some some company put out a bootleg rock and roll racing on steam that had a bunch of music that they did not license and then it got pulled from steam and i think it's still in my library i just can't remember what it's called um but they they went and tried to make a spiritual successor to Rock and Roll Racing, and then apparently didn't get any of the rights to any piece of any of that. <laughs> you can't do that. The, the music, though, any anything. So it yeah. just yeah. yeah. No, that's not. You can't. That's not. You can't do that. No, that's that's the that's against that's against ape law. Yeah. Has Motor Rock. Done... Someone 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 called it. Someone in, in chat called it out. Uh, Motor Rock. Motor Rock. <laughs> Um, you know how they have those uh, Twitch plays games? Uh, I want to see somebody do a Twitch. Well, I want to see robots do unlimited laps in like a um, uh, super sprint. I want to see what that looks. I want to. I want to watch a robot learn the correct amount of t drift or turn over yeah. and over again to get the perfect tightest laps. Four robots, four AIs trying to learn 
and just over time see them just doing perfect runs in that game but also like you know learning what to do when the other robots try to fuck them over and how yeah. to recover yeah yeah i feel like that's the way we get to sentience is like uh ai playing super sprint or uh you know like uh, uh iron Ivan iron, iron man Ivan Stewart. iron man stewart's off-road racing yes just the they, they learn to do that and then we get to uh like uh what are they a, a paradigm shift yeah oh apparently wait a paradigm shift. what's that <laughs> Uh, it's that's when a... ro robots learn to play racing. Okay. They there are multiple people out there that are you know using like Lua scripting and all this other stuff to basically have emulate emulators do that uh, with different games and obviously they have to kind of code a different algorithm or something um, for every game they want to do it too. But you know they 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 got an AI plan like Super Mario Brothers iteratively and learning. And 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 getting better, yes. I don't know that they necessarily. I, I don't know where that went left off. I, I haven't checked in on it. Okay, yet, but, um, but yeah, I want like but, machine. Yeah, kind of. Uh, yeah, I, I want to see a, a like machine learn how to do a speed run and just see if what it what it does. Unless that exists. Yeah, it, it does. It seems to. That seems to exist. I'm gonna. I'm gonna send you a link in this Discord. Okay. 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 Am I gonna infect my computer with a learning algorithm here? Yes. Like, at what at what point? Uh, at what point can you? Um. At what point will people be able to like have a stream Dark Souls, but people will say, "Man, this isn't really him. This, it, this is his AI running." This. I don't know what to do. I don't know uh, what to do. Jump. Do a, do a Mario. Do the Mario. Oh. I can barely swing my arms from side to side, though. Okay, well, I don't know what you're going to do then. <laughs> you're, you're just bone Ben, sorry. Yeah. Bone, what? Uh, bone. Bone, what Ben are you using? Uh, ben, what headphones are you using? Siberia Raw Prism. That's, I think you just activated me. I have yeah. to go. <laughs> Sorry, your raw prism. All right, great. <laughs> Order received. <laughs> I've got to go. Um, uh, it's okay. Great. Do you some... like them? Uh, oh, beats by Dre. Si Siberia beats by Dre. Yeah. Nice. The Siberian beats are cold as fuck. Nice. That's oh, good marketing. Sure. Good marketing. Oh. Uh, ben, can I guess things about you? Please, Vinny. Okay, here we go. You were, um, you were a Nintendo kid. Oh, yeah. My first okay. non-Nintendo console wait, was the Xbox. Wait, wait. I'm, oh, man. I'm Sorry. Guess, I'm doing my, I'm doing detective work here. I'm doing, I'm doing oh. good. To, okay, your first non-Nintendo uh, console was an Xbox uh, 360. Oh, yeah. How'd you guess? Okay, okay. Uh, you were a Nintendo kid. Um, you didn't own an NES, but you had family or a friend who did and played a lot over their house. No, almost no NES until, like, virtual console, even. Okay, okay. Um you um you liked the PlayStation but really only saw like Metal Gear at like a rich kid's house. Uh GTA, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um you're you put a lot of quarters into uh uh Turtles in Time. Uh, I owned Turtles in Time for the Super Nintendo. Put a lot of quarters into the other one. What was the other uh, Turtles beat em up? Uh, 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 it was just Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> yeah. That and Turtles. Simpsons, Simpsons Arcade were the two I probably put the most in at Scandia. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty good. Uh, and you, and you, I'd say you're, you're decent at skee-ball. Yeah, uh, I uh, realized at a young age that my arms were long enough that I could reach up through the ball prison and grab them before putting quarters in so I could practice. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. 
That sounds scary. That's in... frightening. <laughs> the first time it was definitely scary, but then I was just like, oh, I'm, I'm invincible. I'm a child. I'm, nothing's going to happen to me. Hmm. Um, in college, I did an uh, article about a ski ball, uh, a professional ski ballist who owned and rented out ski ball machines and then also would like teach you lessons on how to play ski ball well for. Like, it was a story about the gig economy. What is it? What's this crazy thing where you could, like, pay somebody to do something for a few hours? It's weird. People have been paying people to do things for a few hours for a very long time. Some say it's the world's <laughs> oldest profession. Yeah. S ski that ball. and ski ball. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so if you, uh, if you, if, what is the, the route on ski ball? Is it go for the little, like, 350 point things in the corners? Or is it just try yeah. and get it down the middle? You want to try and, like, hit the net behind the lip of the 300s in the corners. Um, also, just grab as many balls as you can hold so you don't have to change your stance up. You're basically trying to limit <gasps> how many factors are going into the, like, you know, your <laughs> shot, basically. Yeah, I like it. Get rid of the variables. Yeah. More balls. More And more balls. How do... How... What do I do here? I'm waiting for you guys to catch up. Okay. But... I just turned you just turned into Link and you just went through a pipe. Okay, it's coming. It's Okay. There's a switch here. If I turn it on, a bunch of those plungers up there at the top come down and block my path. I feel like you're dying to this like plant per plant that falls through the get past things the over and over again. Okay. You know Trial and error. Oh yeah, just like machine learning. Yeah, you're, you're literally learning method. Method. computer. Yeah. It says C P in the corner. I don't know if that's a hint. Oh, it's a wanna... hint, all right. <laughs> it's a hint that you're going to jail. C P in the corner. Okay. You just paused it. How far behind are we? Uh, that's where I said I'm just gonna wait for you guys. Okay. It's that zone. <laughs> There's only that block that I think I can interact with. So that's can funny. you get that? Can you get that mega mushroom so that you do that part huge, and then oh, when this you thing mean hits the you, other it will. Yeah. Well, I'll give you a hint. I've already died, so I'm gonna go back and try and get that mega mushroom. Will I even fit through the I... pipe though? I'll fit. I think, I think you can go through pipes with the big mushroom. Uh, oh, I need to... Mm. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm up to the part where you're just standing in front of the one-up thing, collecting yeah. one-ups. I'm, I'm examining this. That's smart. Okay. I'm going for the so mushroom. It seems like you'd have to uh, be big and then hit those spikes to take a little damage or something and then run through it. Is that, what a, is that, is that a thing that could happen? Oh, uh, you know, Vinny, I think that might just be it. I don't know if you should trust the arrows or not. I don't know if that's a thing. This one seemed they seem to be hints generally. Okay. Um. I I am I'm not good at these. Okay, and Okay, I'm big. I'm very large now. Oh, oh but okay. the Zelda thing okay. turned me into little Zelda. Mm. You can still take a hit as as little Zelda though, but it oh. drops you onto spikes too. Okay, well that's that's you don't want that. I don't want that. Okay, all right. No, we're gonna figure it out together, friends. What does that on-off switch do by the the big plant? Uh, it makes a bunch of uh, plunger uh, springs fall and block the path. Oh. Um, I'll try that again just so you guys can see. There's a moment where the springs drop, chat is maybe saying, um, I just have to time it faster. So look at that shot. Okay. Okay. Jeff, have you been playing more Warzone? Yeah, here and there. Um, you know, try to get like maybe one or two games in every night here. Um, Did you see that clip going around of the guy hacking? Uh, during the like tournament. No, but I, I've 
I've read stories about like people clipping through the map and doing all kinds of bad shit. So I, yeah, that's yeah, truly that's some bummer. of the most advanced hacks I've ever seen. Hmm. Oh, I made it. Oh, but I don't know. No, I need to go back. Do I need to go back? Oh, I need to go back. I knew I needed to go back. I need to follow the arrows. God damn it. Oh, god damn it. Oh. No, Warzone's good. They, they just, uh, I, I don't know. I, it's gonna, I think season three is starting relatively soonish here. Um, I don't, I haven't read what they are rolling out in, in that time frame. Um, I guess they're making it so Warzone players the, of the free to play version are gonna have access to some form of competitive multiplayer for like a weekend or something. Like a, hey, come play actual Call of Duty for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> see if you like this. Yeah, see it. What do you think? Good. What do you think yeah. of this? This is really yeah. weird. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I got it. Okay, sure. <laughs> sure. Well, yeah, we'll do it. Hey, and also here, here, play some, uh, play some WoW. <laughs> you like WoW? Yeah. Hey, what do you think of this? Hey, you like rock and roll racing? <laughs> Check this out. Yeah. I made this at one point. Uh, Jeff, video yes. game question for you. Ready? Okay, that's right. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Quick one, ready? Okay, name. Uh, what would you say are Activision's? Uh, 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 let's take financials out of it, but like most well-known franchise. Pitfall. Like what, Pitfall. Okay. Okay. Number one with the bullet. Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Okay. Kaboom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh huh. Specific, um, specific crowd, maybe. Uh, yeah. Well, well I, you know. Crash Bandicoot is technically, I mean, theirs, it wasn't originally, but they own it now. Um, like, if you, if we had to have the, like, five IPs from uh, Activision in yeah. a bucket that's like, oh, man, these are the one. Like, they're, they're Mario, they're Zelda, they're Metro. Yeah. Uh, what, what, are, what are they banking on? Uh, that's, that's Pitfall. Mm-hmm. I mean, in terms of, like, because they, they did make... Uh, you, People forget, but they made a lot of Pitfall games. Yeah, they were uh, mostly real bad. Oh yeah, uh, all of them except for the first two. <laughs> Is it uh, Son of Pitfall? Wasn't there a Pitfall kid? There was definitely, there was definitely something where you had to like rescue Pitfall Harry. I think that was like the SNES game or something. <laughs> okay. Or like Sega CD, like like that era, like that 16-bit Pitfall game was was maybe the one where you rescued Pitfall Harry. Um, but I mean, there I was a Pitfall cartoon. A lot of Pitfall 64. Yeah. Ugh. Oh my gosh, there was a there was a Nintendo 64 Pitfall, 3D platforming Pitfall game. Is that yeah. is that for real? Or are you making that up? No. Oh that, yeah, that's that that exists. Oh, that sounds disgusting. <laughs> they did a an infinite the runner banger. for iOS. I believe that. That sounds like a Pitfall. But it's not like classic Pitfall. It's like a behind the back wow. thing. It's a yeah. It's, oh. Yeah, Why would you do that? The, the pitfall is a runner. Uh, you know, exactly. You got me, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so Call of Duty, definitely. Yeah. Uh, a pit, pitfall, uh, the name recognition right there. The, you're gonna want to hold on to that, right? Definitely. That, that's like that's important to the history of of the company. Yeah. Like that was one of the games. So when when this Call of Duty came out, it was what, some anniversary of Activision, 35, 40 years, whatever it was. And, uh, and uh, so they put a bunch of like player banners that were evocative of Atari 2600 era Activision games, mm -hmm. like Barnstorming and you know Dragster, whatever their whatever their racing game was, um, and it was kind of awesome. <laughs> um, would you would you say Guitar Hero as a I, thing I, that's like? Yes, I mean, but like they didn't create it, right? They bought it, so mm -hmm. I guess that's yeah, the thing that... is. Are you talking Activision proper or like things Activision happens to own right now? I'd say 2020 Activision's running down uh, running down a sheet and they have to shed everything but five uh, properties. So like I would count Destiny in there now too and, and all Blizzard stuff as well. I think you gotta throw Well, they gotta uncount there. Destiny since they, <laughs> since they got rid of it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so they, but they still have Destiny 1 though, right? Nope. Oh, no, they, so they don't. Yeah. They, they're totally out of the Destiny game? They are out of the Destiny game. Well, I guess, okay. I mean, God, what is even Destiny 1? That's I like, don't know. Are they making money off of Destiny 1? Is that possible? Uh, maybe in theory, retail copies of something somewhere, but I'd, 
Mm. Am I mm. just? What no, am you're I doing? It's fun time. It's fun time. You need to get uh, you need to get something on that conveyor belt that'll let you jump up and get through that door. Or did you come in through that door? That's where I came in. I think. Okay, well, I don't then, even then remember. You're... Time is not real anymore. No, it never was. Yeah, I came in through the door. Um, uh, maybe you're just trapped here. Maybe this was the wrong door. Yeah, I think if you're talking about everything Activision owns right now, you have to throw Candy Crush on that five. Oh. Is that, a, is uh, that an because, Activision joint? Yeah, they bought King Games. Oh, okay. So that you're now you're just going ruthless moneymaker. I guess that's a well-known property as well. But and that's Michael uh, Jordan's you're talking favorite Activision. video game. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, Michael Jordan knows, uh, and Bo knows, and Michael Jordan is, you know, well known in the video game industry. I don't know if you ever played Jordan versus Bird one on one, but I mean, yeah, yeah. Michael Jordan, oh, yeah. Chaos in the Windy City. Yeah, Chaos in the Windy City. Uh, perhaps a worse Michael Jordan video game. <laughs> uh, uh, Michael Jordan uh, knew video games so well. Uh, the, and the reason I know this is because he was not in probably the most NBA games that I ever played at the time. Right. Yeah. Because they, he knew enough to license have have his own licensing agreement. Exactly. Yeah. I'm so, truly oh, no, no. These, these lost make money. what to do with this part. Uh, I don't know what you do here, Ben. It does seem like the there's arrow, nowhere to This go. arrow tells me to go up, but it's also just pointing at the thing. And those arrows down there tell me... CPI. Oh, Sorry. you're in a different spot than I'm watching. I'm watching you spot inside, this. maybe? Hmm. So did yeah, you... We're, we're watching you have a fun time right now. Yeah, did you get past yeah. the fun time? No. Oh, okay. Maybe the fun time is like a trap? Hmm. Yeah. Oh. Seems, seems a little complicated um, for a trap. You run back and forth. I do like this. What does it say down here? Lol. Huh. Well, like, maybe, like, so what? Okay. You got Tony yeah. Hawk. Oh, yeah. What do you do with Tony yeah. Hawk? Tony Hawk, for what, sure. What do I do with Tony Hawk? I'll tell you what, what? I do. Yeah. What do you do with Tony? Oh, okay. All right. All right. Before I get to this uh, hardcore Tony Hawk interview, mm -hmm. um, I gotta ask you: What do you think Tony Hawk? Does that still? Does that name still hold? Is the game more uh, hold more cachet than actual Tony Hawk, the franchise today for the kids? Um, for the kids, huh? Um, in my in my twelve to eighteen year old demo. I think it depends on which kids we're talking about. I think if you're talking about kids that already have an interest in skateboarding, um, there are certainly skateboarders that have come along since then. But, I, you know, Tony Hawk is still a factor. Um, mm -hmm. And he's probably still the most famous skateboarder in the world, right? So, like, if you take all age groups, all that other stuff, like, that's... Um, he is still the name. And then the game only helps with that. Like, they... They're symbiotic in a sense, where mm. like the game helps make Tony Hawk more popular. Tony Hawk helps, helps make the game more popular, like to this day, probably in some in some weird way. Is it kind of like a Madden thing, though? Like, are we are you do you hit a point where like the franchise is just like uh, I don't know who Tony? I didn't even know Tony you, Hawk was a real person. You do eventually probably hit that point. Like like if you were making one of those games now, like and, and I just don't know enough about. I don't follow skateboarding enough to know one way or the other if that's. Um, if that's the situation now um but you know he's still tony hawk he's still like a, so, a, a, a brand ambassador for the brand of skateboarding uh right okay all right so we, what the list so far we have uh call of duty uh tony hawk pitfall guitar hero what how do you what do you put on that bottom of that list spyro i'd put crash ahead of spyro okay um, but World of Warcraft. Oh, I mean, yeah. If you want to get Blizzard into this, this is kind of a different list, then, huh? Yeah. Is it is it like three quarters Blizzard if you do that? I would probably put. Uh, 
Well, I think World of Warcraft is on that list. Not even Warcraft, just World of Warcraft. Just WoW. Uh, yeah. What, what What do you like? Okay, you're a you're you're a Blizzard. You're, you're now king of Blizzard. That's me. Are you, are you, and you're like, listen, folks, the, the money got to make money. The money train. I said this. I don't know how much steam we got left in this tank on the on the WoW money train. Look at this graph because it looks like something. What do you do with World of Warcraft? Do you make, do you do a WoW too, or are you like, no, we just put all we keep going Overwatch and we get on this one. Um, I would probably. I think there's like a money line on WoW where if you're dipped below that that line for of, of subscribers or, or whatever for a certain length of time, you start to really rethink that whole business. And I think, well, you know, like, honestly, I would have looked at something like in, in the, the, like a, a Destiny or Warframe sort of business model and said, like, can we do something like this with the world of Warcraft? Because you don't make that a subscription-based game in this day and age. Um... And they kind of have some of that, right? They still have like a free tier. There's, together? yeah, there is, there is some kind of like free trial part of. Um, Man, I, been, I wish I asked Rory. He probably is. Does he still pay for a subscription? He's still like, I, he, and he might have canceled. I, I think, <sighs> you know, he uh, he's on and off depending on. I, I know he is. He has not had nice things to say about the more recent um, um, expansion. Hmm. But I think that's that's and he he is not unique in that. I think the my understanding is that the the player reaction to what they've been doing lately has not been great. And and the people did they like that classic, that uh, that WoW classic stuff? Not not so much. Okay. Turns out, turns out when you make it the way they used to make it without all the quality of life <laughs> stuff that made that game yeah. modern and playable, you only get a certain number of players that are going to be willing to go like, yeah, sure. I'll go back and play this the worst possible way I can. Um, what what is it called? Thought Thoughtbot? Is that what the? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thoughtbot and Cosmos, the the, <laughs> the UI add-on, and I don't I don't know if all that stuff is still relevant in well, a WoW classic sense or if not. If I go to Thoughtbot, what happens? I think Curse bought it. Oh, they, they must have bought everything. Yeah, I feel I I, I wanted to figure Curse bought everything, and then Twitch bought Curse. And then I think they sold some stuff off. Okay. They only really wanted the cursed client, I think. I forget. Um. So, you, what do you what do you do now? Do do we do we make a what is a what is a Blizzard World of Warcraft uh, massively multiplayer thing look like in twenty twenty? Um, I think you do something that is free to play with, uh, or, or, or like a, a one-time purchase type thing, sort of like Destiny was at launch. Um, and you sell expansions and season passes and that sort of stuff. And you don't charge a monthly fee, except potentially optionally as like a, hey, now you can get an extra tier of fucking World of Warcraft Battle Pass ah! shit. Ah! Or something. Um, I, can't, I can't wait to see what that one was. I feel like that. I figure like that's what Activision would do, and I, I feel like that's probably like you are gonna modernize that game. That's what you do. But I don't know. Like like FF14 is doing well with a subscription service, so maybe there's a case to be made. Like if you if you actually made a great mm. uh, MMO ass MMO and said no, you pay a subscription fee to play it, just like you do with real MMOs because none of the other stuff, Destiny and Diablo, whatever, you know, PSO2, you know, whatever, none of that stuff is a real MMO. Um, you know, there's there's still some audience for that. It's just a matter of, like, is that an audience that, like, gets you to a huge mainstream audience the way WoW did at its peak? Which is probably impossible. I don't know. Right. I guess, yeah, if, I, like, guess I, I don't know what that market is. Like, like you know, yeah. you, you know, is, is the real answer, hey, we're making a World of Warcraft phone game for China? <laughs> like, I, I don't I don't know. Like, uh, No, yeah, right. So it's there's some vines? Kind of... Sorry, there's I just vines. need yeah. chat's help. There's yeah, vines sorry, that ben, appear we're... here. No, it's okay. I was just suffering in silence. Um, there's vines mm -hmm. that appear here, but the only way I can get them to appear is by going over here 
and either waiting. Does that do it? No, I have to hit the button. But I don't have enough time to hit the button and then run back through the, the piranha plant that's there. Hmm. Maybe I do have enough time. No, well, that won't do it. I'm gonna watch you do a thing here because I haven't been paying attention, really. I'm gonna be honest with you here, Ben, to what's happening here. I see right now you're jumping, trying to hit a block and there's a big piranha plant in front of you. Yeah, that's where the vines appear, where I was jumping. Okay. I'm watching this happen. You are talking to the piranha plant. Crouching in front of the piranha I followed, plant. I followed chat's advice. Never follow chat's advice. You went back in a door. Fireworks just went off. Okay. Oh, and then you moved your camera around. That's nuts. That's, okay, oh, okay. Now, you now your head we're in business. Uh -huh. Everything just seized up for me. <laughs> yeah. Right before wondered, the camera move. Okay, yeah. now the camera's moved. Uh, okay. Yeah, you look a little despondent. Uh, I understand. Uh, I, I've seen some people in chat say that the freezing up is is a is a maybe a twitch issue. Mm, could be like that all day, huh? Yeah. That uh, that uh, the stream before this one maybe was. Uh, but Bezos couldn't foot his internet bill. What's going on? Yeah. Oh, I just saw somebody in the chat say Thoughtbot. <laughs> that was yeah, a while ago. Yeah. That's yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Yeah, wow. Chat is... Uh, I feel like every time we hitch, it just puts chat... <laughs> that was minutes ago. <laughs> that is... Uh... I'm really losing my mind. <laughs> Man, that was, that was ages ago. Well, um, let, me, uh, let, me just, let me take a look here what's going on. Yeah, who's on deck... I think Jeff, you're on deck. Yeah, yeah. I wonder yeah. if you'll you'll have some similar stuff here. I don't know. I hope not. I'm trying to decide. Yeah, because like I was saying, it's I wasn't sure better. what to stream. Um, oh my god! How did I miss that like every well. time? Um, Ow. I kind of want to. I I, pl I played Fantasy Star Online two last night, and there's some sick part of me that wants to play more of that. Okay. I might sneak in later. Uh, we were talking maybe. I might swap in after you. After okay. You're done in a couple hours. Mm -hmm. and, uh, maybe the, I only got an hour there. Maybe that's where I jump in for some of that solar jet man. Yeah. Um, so how has the Fantasy Star stuff been going? Oh, okay. it's an eight-year-old game, and it was. Uh, it, it felt like a, a weird, bad free. Like a like some of the the monetization stuff they were doing at launch was a little suspect, and now eight years later they're still doing it, but now it's on a new platform and. So you just look at it and go like, this is crazy. Who would make this? Um, is it fun? I am enjoying it. Okay. But I'm not going to tell you it's fun. It's not necessarily fun time. but it... No, it is not fun time. Okay. Um, but some, some kind of time. Yeah, I'm having an okay. I'm, I'm having a fun time. I am having a good time playing it. I am enjoying my time with it, I guess. Okay. I would say. Okay. But at the same time, <laughs> it's, not, it's not a recommendation, except that it's free and there's a lot you can do without paying any money at all. But they, you know, it's stuff like they want you to pay for more storage in your inventory, but you buy it in 30 day chunks. Oh, yeah. Wait. Sorry, say that again. So, uh, you know, like your storage is limited. Um, yeah, which I hate. However, however many items, you know, whatever. You can't just store away items forever. Um, and if you want to buy, you can buy additional storage. Um, like, not on your character. Like, you know, bank storage, basically. And you buy those bank slots. Um, okay. You subscribe to them, basically. Like, you, you pay for 30 days worth of ex extra bank. Okay, and it's then, like a safety deposit box. Yeah, exactly. And then it goes okay. away. Um, and... 
I just like that just sucks. Like you you that there sucks. so I ended up buying there were permanent expansions to your um your on character inventory. And so I bought that. I paid real money to buy that because I was like, well, that's something that's not going to go away. Um that will always be there. Uh the the subscription aspect of it just seems not like, like, like that's just crazy um yeah it, it seems bad that seems like a um uh, i would be very frustrated with that model especially as somebody who has a lot of inventory uh, uh issues issues yeah and, and and the game is constantly just spitting shit at you and most of it's garbage and it's yeah so it's like you 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 get a lot of items um and then there's a premium subscription there that is a similar thing of like it's almost like a um, a package deal like oh well you could just pay for the ability to run your own personal shop for 30 days mm. or why not pay a little bit more and get the premium set which gives you that plus some other things uh for 30 days and it, it's have you put money into it uh, yeah, I did. I, I bought the. I, I paid real money for the the character inventory expansion. Oh, and sorry, that's the thing you said before. That, yeah, that's, that's, that's the, yeah, okay. yeah. I, I put I put money in there. I bought the Sonic the Hedgehog edition of the game that came with a mask that I put over my robot's head that makes him 